how high do you think uh, the bid for Fox goes? Uh, well, I, my own sense is, uh, you know, Comcast, Brian wants to have a opportunity to, to participate. He's the high bid right now on Sky. It's uh, obviously uh, Fox will have to do something if they want to own Sky to buy the balance. Uh, within the framework of the deal on the table, uh, he probably has to bump it to, you know, 3 or $4 a share. Again, re- let me highlight and echo the comments that we might have made in the past, and that is that Spinco, you're, pay- you're getting $38, a combination of 50% cash, 50% Disney paper with a collar, which means that it, depending on where the price is, whether it's the VWAP pri- volume-weighted average price or whether it's how they determine it, uh, if Disney was selling, you know, at uh, let's assume $106, dollars, you're going to get 38 divided by 106, as that is your pro rata share of the Disney stock, which is like 0.35. Without getting too technical, so uh, I would argue that Comcast now can either come back with a part co- stock or part cash, uh, but it's got to be up to 41 dollars. But my clients who own Fox will have $10 in public markets of what about a $17 in private market value of what we call the new Fox. So you add that $10 to the 38 so that's why the stock is at 47 and change, because you know in hand you have $48. It, then the question depends on the timing. How long will Comcast be able to need to get their uh, proposal if they have higher economic value uh, through the regulatory agency, and that is a time value of money. And the second part is how far along is Disney uh, in getting that process started. So those are the elements. So, Mario, it's Michelle here. Your firm's got $5 million of Fox B and $5 million of Fox A. Ultimately, conceptually, what would you want, prefer? Would you want a lot of cash from Comcast, or would you like to hold Disney stock down the road? I will take a coin out and give to my taxable clients what is uh, taxed at the lowest possible rate, pay less tax, pay later, which is one of the great lines I learned from John Malone about 40 years ago. So my clients want to pay less, pay later. And the second part is the, those that are tax-free are going to say, hey, listen, I love Disney. I think your uh, earnings estimate of Disney of $10 a share out two or three years uh, makes a lot of sense, and Disney's going to have a strong tailwind. And we like Comcast. Comcast at $33 is a bargain. So, uh, you know, we will make the determination, but at the moment we are doing what we would always do at a great opera, and that is just co- applaud the participants and say, carry on. Yeah. Hey, Mario, it's Scott. It's nice to talk Hi, to you Scott, again. Hi, Scott. How you doing? What are I you, do- working overtime? I am. I am. That's okay. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, who do you think Murdoch wants, all things being equal? Uh, well, let's assume I'm Rupert and I have 300 million shares. Uh, the uh, by tax guys, and they're not as uh, deeply uh, uh, paid as some of the ones that Rupert and others are hiring. I assume I don't pay them that much. Uh, basically, he's going to have to pay a tax on Spinco. So the $10 I gave you, assuming that's first print, he's got 300 million shares times 10 is $3 billion times 35% between federal and salt taxes. So he's going to pay a billion dollars in tax on that. However, to the degree that uh, everyone elects cash and he gets his stock off, uh, he'll have a deferral on his Disney stock, whereas Comcast, you know, he's going to have to pay 100% tax. So if I'm Rupert and I'm an economic person in the, in the uh, history of Adam Smith, I want to take, uh, you know, everything constant. If I had the right to do it, I would take uh, a, a tax-deferred piece of paper, particularly if I thought it was, uh, you know, reasonably uh, priced. But if you're a share, if you're an ordinary shareholder, Mario, isn't there an advantage to the all cash? Uh, listen, I have clients that own this stock from the days of uh, Herb Siegel with Chris Craft, BHC <laughs> with a two dollar, and they're ordinary people. So I don't know what you mean. In addition to that, my mutual funds get uh, uh, hurt by what uh, uh, is not impacted at the ETFs. They can't wash it out through the authorized participant strategy. It's totally unfair. But that's a different subject. No, I disagree with you. I think the answer is that you now have an opportunity to take 50% of your compensation in cash, and the other compensation, assuming everybody elected 100% standard election, I don't know if that's a permissible, but that's the deal. So Comcast coming in with a higher bid has got to move the, uh, the needle higher. 
And then, then the second question is all of which is a part now. Because of the fact that what you're now looking at, and a, a good question that you're going to ask me next, and I knew you were going to do it, is, hey, whoa, this is going to add uh, close to a lot of debt on the books of Disney. I mean, if you took uh, $40 uh, times 1.8 million shares, that's $72 billion plus, you know, uh, half of that is $36 billion on top of the Disney debt. On top of that, you've got to pay it for Sky, which is $30 billion. So, uh, is, what? By the way, Mario, I just want to add, uh, we're seeing the stocks react to a Bloomberg headline uh, which says that Disney could be cleared by the U.S. Department of Justice to buy out most of Fox in as little yeah, as two no, weeks. I, I, read that. I read that about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're seeing the stocks react, so I just want hey, to mention uh, that look, to, uh, to our audience. You know, I, I'm not going to get in the weeds with the Justice Department and what they're thinking. Uh, you know, I read Judge Leon's, and uh, by the way, I echo my comments, the first 50 pages, anybody who wants to be a student of this industry, and understand what Bezos is doing and what uh, Netflix is doing should understand the role of technology and uh, what's going on in the world here. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.